Just in the budget speech indicated a huge tax relaxation for retirees. What does that mean? Essentially what that means is when everybody reaches the retirement age, you have a look at what your provision or your savings in your particular savings vehicle was at pension. So that could be via pension fund, retirement annuity or provident fund. A typical scenario for a retiree is when he reaches that stage, he's given an option. He say, okay, well, you need to make an election now. How much of your savings would you like as a lump sum and how much of your savings would you like to purchase an annuity with? We would obviously push guys towards purchasing an, an annuity to fund them for the rest of their, of their lifetime. The other very critical point to remember is that at that stage, a lot of retirees still have long-term debts standing. So for instance, mortgages or education loans they're taken out for their kids or outstanding loans on their cars. At that stage, they have a look at would it be more efficient for them to kill off those long-term loans by taking out a bigger portion of their savings from the retirement vehicles. They therefore see, okay, fine, how much would this lump sum attract in terms of tax? Government essentially identified this concern and they've decided to increase the amount that persons can take out of the retirement savings vehicle that won't attract tax. So in essence, to put it in practical terms, if you look at a retiree taking out a figure of 1 million rand in terms of the current tables, that 1 million rand would have attracted an effective rate of tax of just over 16%. Right, boiling down to 161,000, give or take a few rands. Mm -hmm. If you look at the proposed changes, that same 1 million rand taken out with the taxpayer would attract an effective rate of just over 11 or just under 12%. And the tax saving between the two regimes on the exact same lump sum that you would have taken out boils down to about a saving of 44,500. Now that's a lot of money. And We're not speaking about money. percentages. We're speaking about nearly 50,000 rand that I am saving on the same amount, just with a different tax. Exactly. So this is oh, plus minus 50,000 rand that I can put towards killing off my mortgage loan or killing off my education. Or if you had a a child at quite a late, a late age, you can put it towards finding his education without having to take out additional loans. So that is a, a very big incentive by the government where they're saying, we realize what your concerns are, we realize you're struggling and this is a need and this is how we're meeting you halfway.